When handling any type of wire or circuit, act as if the power is on. Electricity is incredibly dangerous. Before handling any electronic equipment, always turn off the power. Once the power is off, check the voltage to confirm that there is no power. In some cases, the power can be turned off but the circuit will remain energized. A common cause of this can be a capacitor. Recall that capacitors store electrical energy. Checking the voltage of the wire prevents you from being shocked or killed. When you use a multimeter, it is important to take measurements in a safe space. A mistake due to a bad environment can damage equipment or kill you. When using a multimeter, make sure that there is enough lighting to see the components. With bad lighting, you may accidentally touch a live component or damage equipment. Before using your multimeter, scan the area for environmental hazards which could injure you. Look for standing or running water near you or the electrical components. When using a multimeter, it is important to keep your hands free. Holding a multimeter and two leads at one time can result in injury. A good way to free up a hand is to hang your multimeter. You can also use alligator clips. A common safety problem is the metal section of your multimeter leads touching while measuring a component. Some brands prevent leads from touching by only exposing the metal at the tip of the probe. If your multimeter leads touch while you are touching an active component, it can short the circuit. Generally, this will create sparks or even an arc flash. We recommend getting leads where the metal tip is barely exposed. It is important to wear the appropriate safety gear when working with electrical equipment. In general, you should always wear safety glasses, insulated gloves, and insulated boots when using a multimeter. The safety gear you need will change depending on the equipment you are working with.